of that off today. So welcome to Diva Speaks Relationships. My name is Angela Patariel. This is the Talk That Talk edition, and I am about to bust wide open my Diva Speaks After Dark, even though I'm doing it during the day. Uh, I'm going to bust it wide open today because um, it's stuff that needs to be talked about, okay? It's still about relationships, but it is more dealing with the... Okay, I don't want to say the word out loud because I don't want to get banned, okay? But that's what we're transitioning to because it's a major part of all relationships, right? And it has a major component in the cheating cycle of things, right? So why not just talk about some of the things that go on in the bedroom that people are writing about? And please accept my apologies when I tell you that. Uh, I was a little bit hesitant with doing it, but people want to talk about it. So let's talk about it. Today, because it's before noon, I will not be a heathen, okay, <laughs> and be too crass with you, but I do have a, a letter. It's short and sweet, and I, like I said, I'm going to get in, and I'm going to get out, okay? I'm going to pull you in, and then I'm going to pull out. Get your minds out of the gutter, but that's exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, so we got, we got one of our um, good sisters that wrote in about her man, and, um, I find it quite interesting and some of you guys are guilty of this some of you guys are real guilty of this I'm not judging I'm just and you know what it's, it's some women out there that's guilty of this too I'm not judging I'm just saying okay so the title is he says almost does, does not count I can't talk didn't doesn't he says almost doesn't count that's what her boyfriend said her man okay listen to this Again, if you're just not tuning in, I am segueing into Diva Speaks After Dark. Diva Speaks After Dark is going to be solely dedicated to stories, scandalous secrets, and things that happen in the bedroom. Okay? I am transitioning over to more of a realistic view of relationships and what goes on in them. I've been holding back for far too long. Now it's time to get into the thick of things. Since it is a major component of the cheating stories that I get, right? So anyway, girlfriend says this about her man. He got head from another woman. That's what she said. She wrote it. He got head from another woman. He didn't stop her. But she stopped because he couldn't get it up. <laughs> he told me he tried to get her to come over a little later so they could finish. It starts with an F, but I'm going to say finish. She didn't end up coming over. Why is my head spinning and thinking about what else could have happened? It hurt so much knowing that he was trying so hard to get... I gotta read it again. It hurts so much knowing that he was trying so hard to get with her. I think I'm stuck trying. <laughs> I think I'm stuck thinking that he was trying to someone else just as bad. Wait a minute. And it's just as bad actually not doing it. He keeps saying, but it didn't happen. But like it could have easily because he was initiating it. Oh, but you know, this kind of stuff happens, does, does it not, guys? And these are the kind of letters that have been in my inbox for quite some time. These are the type of letters. This is the stuff I've been holding back because, you know, I do. You know, I, but, you know, people in my ear now, I have to listen. I, one and done. <laughs> That's what the other chick said. So anyway, the boyfriend confesses to his woman that he, he told her everything that happened, okay? He was very honest with her, but she's bothered by it because she's like, he's trying to minimize the situation, saying almost does not count, and she's shook because she's like, but you still did something, and the only way that something did not happen is because you couldn't rise to the occasion. And I would say, sis... <laughs> You got yourself a cheetah. The only way he didn't go through with it is because, I mean, as far as, you know, intercourse, is because he couldn't rise to the occasion. Nonetheless, he's still a cheetah. And he's not even a <laughs> he's not even apologetic, you know, about him going through with the act and even letting another woman 
pleasure him orally. You know, he's more concerned with, well, almost doesn't count. But what happens the next time he decides to get oral from someone else that he's attracted to or he's in the mood and he has no self-control? And then he actually rises to the occasion. He, he decides to take it a little bit further and explore her lady parts. What are you going to do then? Because you're losing your mind because you can't wrap your mind around the fact that he went that far. He went that far, honey, and he planned on taking it further. That's what you need to realize. Um, him initiating it, it's just as bad because that proves that he wanted it. And here's what you need to think about before you be so quick to forgive this man of yours, girl. At no point in time did he call you when he felt his nature rising or those urges taking over him. You know, he didn't try to fight the urge or the impulse to want to get busy with someone else. He really wanted to go through with it. And I ain't putting God in this because God is nowhere in this. But I'm just saying he had an opportunity. Once it did not work, once he was not able to rise to the occasion, and once old girl, you know, walked away and said, this ain't worth my time. You had one opportunity to get it right. You couldn't. I'm done. He could have called you. He could have called you and said, babe, come over. He could have released. He could have went to the mountaintop with you. He could have pleasured himself with you, the woman that he's in a relationship with. But no, not your man, girl. <laughs> not your man. Your man decided, I'm going to finish what I started with this, this woman that I allowed to, you know, do her thing. He wasn't thinking about you. He wasn't thinking about you in terms of what you meant to him, the relationship, whatever type of commitment you do or do not have, none of that mattered to him. All that mattered to him was getting his rocks off with the woman that he started that journey with. It wasn't you. And you have to ask yourself the next time that he is attracted or he's in a position to be able to have a sexual encounter with someone, what is he going to do then when he is able to perform. That's what you need to be thinking about. That That's what matters most. I've said this before. What you do behind my back when you think I'm not able to discover, find out, uh, or find out what you have done, that absolutely matters. That speaks to your integrity. You see, if I can't trust you when my back is turned, if I can't trust you... You know, when we are not around each other, when we can't get to one another right away, if I can't trust you, when we're not together, what good are we together? Because you're you're not trustworthy. That's the kind of man you got, girl. You got the kind of man that when you're not within reach or proximity and he's turned on by someone else, he couldn't give two good goddamns about how you're going to feel about what he's doing behind your back. And then he has the nerve to minimize what he's doing, girl. He said it doesn't count because he didn't go all the way. He went far enough. He went far. Be my man. <laughs> and still be my man. Shit, I got rid of jokers for less than that. You listen, I'm, listen. If it was you, ask yourself this and ask him. If it was you and you had an encounter with someone that you was, I don't know, whatever the case may be, you found yourself in a position where you are allowing yourself to be a buffet to someone and they are feasting on your lady parts, okay? They're having a good time and you are the snack of the moment. How would he feel about another man FaceTiming your lady parts? And then, because for whatever reason, you don't go through with it, would he be so accepting of your reason as to why you didn't follow through with full-blown intercourse versus allowing yourself to be pleasured orally by someone else other than him? Would he be as forgiving? Would he, would he minimize it? And depending on what type of woman you are, and I'm not judging, I, I'm only responsible for Angela. Um, if y'all didn't know, that's my whole name, Angela Portadell. But listen, if he can minimize it when you do it, then that's cool. And if you feel like testing that theory, that's on you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it if I was you. I just don't, don't do it. Uh, 
But if you felt like doing it, test that theory. Okay, since you say almost doesn't count, then I'm going to spread it wide open for the next one and, and not follow through with the end of course and see are you just as cavalier about that. But anyway, almost doesn't count. If, it, if it's good for you, it's good for me. Okay, even exchange ain't thievery. But if you're just now tuning in, I have decided um, to start uh, reading and exploring the letters of a nature that I get uh, all the time in my inbox. I feel that it was time to continue the grown and sexy conversations because, um, you know, intimacy is a part of all of our relationships. I, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a nun. You know, I, I'm a believer. I'm a spiritual type of woman. I, I have my values and my morals, and I, I think I have a really good moral compass. But some sugar, honey, iced tea, we just got to talk about. And damn it, we've reached that, okay? So Diva Speaks After Dark is coming with more of these <laughs> confessions. The one I'm going to be reading to you guys next on my next live show, you you, you don't want to miss this. This is a hot mess, Okay. Uh, but it's only for the grown, sexy, mature, open-minded, and think, and people that can handle it. I will not be crass. I, I will not be ghetto. That's not me. I won't be vulgar in nature. But we're going to read these letters. So as I decide to put an end to this live show, you guys know I love to talk. I will talk your head off. And I'm not going to do that because I got somewhere to be in a few minutes. This is my last day off before I have to get back on that damn plane and say, welcome aboard, blah, 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 flight number 60422. Anyway, guys, good sis said her man uh, allowed himself to get oral pleasure from another woman and he is minimizing what he has done, how he has violated the relationship and broken their uh, commitment by allowing himself to get oral from another but. Our good brother didn't stop right there. He wanted to continue it. So old girl that gave him the oral, she was done because, you know, he had one time to get it right and he couldn't get it up. So he calls old girl back later on that night wanting old girl to come over to his place so he can finish what he started with her. He didn't call his woman. Okay, he had, he had some time in between the time that he cheated, you know, with the oral and the time between the time that he wanted to reach out and say come back let's finish what we started uh-uh he's telling his girlfriend well almost doesn't count i didn't i didn't really i didn't do it so why are you pissed off and she's like i can't wrap it around my head that he's the one that kept initiating it and he's saying that it doesn't count you got yourself a cheater whether he went through with full-blown intercourse or not he's a cheater Ask yourself, are you willing to accept more of this type of behavior? If a person does not see the wrongdoing in which they are doing in the relationship, if they don't see any problem in how they are treating you or how their actions impact you in the relationship, you have a problem on your hand that you are going to continuously deal with without any type of solution or, you know, breakthrough in the relationship because he doesn't see it as a problem. So ask yourself, am I willing to accept a man accepting oral from different women and he's minimizing it and saying it's okay because he doesn't have full blown with them? And if it's okay for him, is it okay for me? And if it's okay for me, do I really want a man that thinks so little of me that's willing to allow me to do it and he do it? And what am I accepting? What am I communicating to this man if I continue this relationship with him? I will tell you now, I don't think it will be a bright future. I think that whatever you uh, accept and tolerate is what will continue. Uh, I don't want to bash your man. Obviously, you see something in him. You, you're writing about it versus telling me you done broke up with the dude. So uh, good luck on your journey. Um, not all of us are built for it. Uh, but those that think they are eventually come to their senses and realize their value and realize that they need to pull back from somebody that treats them so, you know, so recklessly. And then you'll go on to discover amazing uh, relationships in your journey, you know, while you're being an adult or in adulthood. I, I wouldn't suggest it, girl. That's just the stuff he's telling you about. What about the stuff he ain't telling you about? What the chick? What about the chick that he has performed? Wait a minute. Ooh, I know I said this was gonna be a quickie. It's a quickie type of morning. 
Um, he's telling you about the woman that performed oral on him. What about the women? You need to ask him. What about the women he performed oral on? Well, if we're going to talk about stuff you don't know about, ask him about the women that he's performed oral on and still couldn't get it up and still couldn't rise to the occasion. I, you know, I, I say it all the time. You know, for whatever you think you know right now, girl, <laughs> my brother, there's a lot you haven't uncovered or unpacked yet. For whatever you think you know, it, this is just the tip of the iceberg. <sighs> but anyway, this has been Talk That Talk with Diva Speaks Relationships. My name is Angela Patarial. Um, this is just to get your whistles wet and get your mouth wet and get your appetites all ready for the new, um, I don't know what, new edition of Diva Speaks Relationships, Diva Speaks Relationships After Dark. Uh, that is where we are going to be exploring all of the letters that I've held back um, concerning intimacy, um, bedroom an antics, scandalous stories, and sex secrets. We're going to talk about all of that because that is part of our grown and sexy journey. That is part of relationships. Whether you are in a relationship, in a, in a relationship, an affair, a situationship, a marriage, a swinger, it's still part of the equation. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, hello, hello. So, uh, guys, I, I promise you, I will not be vulgar. That's just not who I am, period. You know, I, I may have a little, you know, comedic side to me, but I'm not vulgar or crass. I will do the letters in good taste. I promise you. And I promise to bring you all of the interesting, mm, delicious, juicy, mouth-watering letters that I have in my inbox <laughs> these bedroom stories are a mess and you don't want to miss it so you guys have an amazing day I got some things to do before I have to get my behind my black behind back on a plane but um, I will see you guys later for those some of you will see me in Dallas for a couple of days at the end of the week and some of you as luck would have it may see me in Hawaii a sis is going, your sister is going to Maui. I'm going to take myself to Maui. Yes, I am. And uh, I will be doing the show from there. Um, if I don't chicken out, um, you know, I get scared sometimes. But anyway, you guys have an amazing day. You know, I love you. Uh, sending hugs, love, positivity, good vibes, good energy. You know, Satan, not today type of, I'm sending it all your way. Not today, Satan. Tell them that. Anybody come to you with that BS, not today, Satan. Not tomorrow either, okay? Toodles. Love you guys.